Hello everyone, this is Rajit Shah from VMware Corporate IT Data Solution and Delivery Team. In this demo, I will showcase how virtualized big data platform is being used in Corporate IT Business Intelligence Group in conjunction with classical enterprise data warehouse. What are the business use cases for big data analytics at VMware BI space? In BI, we already know what happened, why it happened. Our next big question is what's next? We need to have personalized marketing and customer targeting, personalized campaign content strategy. For that, we need to do clicks in data analytics. It gives us path analysis, propensity modeling, predictive analytics, and customer lifetime value analysis. We need to have MyVMware log analytics, Combining user data with login and other activities with the clickstream data will give us an immense powerful insight of user behavior. We also need to have very intelligent analytics system which give us list price optimization and bill analytics for our VMware pricing team. For that, we can use EDW data. We also need deeper learning of VMware product issues, build highly intelligent recommended system to fix customer issues with faster turnaround time. We need GSS service request log analytics. It has high volume of data, a lot of variety of data and complex parsing. So what we have, high volume of data, the data is coming with a bigger velocity with a lot of variety of data. We need to have a capability to analyze big data. To analyze big data, we have created a big data cluster which is completely virtualized. We used vSphere 6.0 and VMR Big Data Extension 2.2 to provision VMs. We used EMC Isolon 7.2.0.2 with couple of unreleased patches for HDFS storage. We used Pivotal Big Data Suite 3.0 with Hadoop 2.6 and Hawk 1.3 for SQL on Hadoop. For data ingestion, we used Pivotal Spring SD 1.2. For deeper analytic functions, machine learning algorithms, we are using Alpine Data Lab 5.4. For UI based hive and peak query execution, we are using Hue 2.6. Here is the application architecture stack for VMware Corp IT Big Data Analytic Platform. As I mentioned, we have used EMC Isolon for HDFS. Each of our worker Hadoop VMs are connected to AEMC Isilon HDFS by 10 gigi data link. We have got a couple of Hadoop masters which have active resource manager, standby resource manager, hot master, standby hot master, and then history server, application server, and hype server components. We also have a Hadoop client which has all the Spring components, which has basically Spring SD admin, Postgres, and RabbitMQ. All other Spring XD containers are there in a couple of Hadoop worker nodes. We have got Hue and all the clients on Hadoop Client VM. And in the management VM, we have Ambari, Nagios, and Ganglia. We have got a couple of standalone VMs for Alpine Data Lab. And for Hadoop Worker nodes, we have node managers, four of Hawk segments, and PXF service or Zookeeper services. And each of the Hadoop Worker node has four 200 gig data disk which is basically created as a VMDK on shared NAC storage. This is our production data center and in this data center we have got four ESX hosts. We deployed VMware Big Data Extension 2.0 which gave us management server and node template and this with help of Big Data Extension we have created one client to master and five worker nodes. There are a couple of non-BD VMs also which is Alpine Lab 1, Alpine Lab 2 and Management Node. In the Management VM, we have installed Ambari and when Ambari is up and running, we have given all the VM provisioned by BD to Ambari, install all the Hadoop components with Hawk and Spring SD and PX. With the help of Ambari, we can monitor any of the services, we can start and stop any of the services, and also we can change the configuration of any of the services. For example, we have Hawk Master and if you want to stop any of the service or restart the services, we can use these tabs. Likewise, we can have Spring SD uh, components also can be controlled by Ambari. At the same time, for Yarn configurations and Hive, Peak, any of these components can be controlled by this Ambari 
and the most important thing is there are a lot of configuration parameters which can be configured distributed way through Ambali and at the same time we, there are two components called Nagios and Ganglia. Nagios is the alarm system and Ganglia is the monitoring system. So Gang, Ganglia has a different uh, external UI by which you can basically see all the VMs, uh, CPU, memory, I.O, network utilization, load utilization, all the graphs here. Now I will show you the data processing pipeline of one single data source which is Clickstream data. Clickstream data is coming every day from Omniture to our FTPS VMware.com and then the data is coming from FTP server to our Isolon HDFS through Spring SD SFTP module. The data rate is pretty high. We get around 10 GB of data every day, which is basically 2 million Clickstream records. Right now we have around two years of data which is 1.5 billion records and 554 columns each of the record is having. The data is having two kinds of logs. One is the heat log, another is the lookup logs. We, we take those logs and then do some pre-processing cleaning of the data via Python scripts, pick and map reduce, and then make the data available in high database, as well as some of the important data sets will be available for Hawk internal table. For example, the data, heat data will have 554 columns. In that, 140 columns are more important for deeper analytics. We have created Hawk internal table with 140 columns and all the main data with 554 columns will be there in high database. Now our end users are advanced analytics users. These users can access the data in three ways. One is through Hue, directly accessing Hive data. They can use PG admin to access Hawk data, or they can use Alpine to access Hawk or HDFS data directly. Here is the Spring HD string job, which is pulling data from FTP server through SFTP model to HDFS. This is the Hue system to see Hive data now I would like to show you like how the clickstream data has been pre-processed and cleaned and mapped to Hive table. So this is my production database of Hive and here I have got all the tables starting from CLSM are basically the clickstream data tables and in that the bigger data is the clickstream underscore heat underscore data underscore f and all are the lookup tables. If I click on this heat data table, I can see all the columns. So there are 554 columns here and if I see sample data, the data would look like this. I would like to run a query to find out the unique visits for 2014 for each month. Now I execute the query. Now after executing the query, I can see all these results for month wise, what is the unique visit happens. Now I can download these results as uh, XLS form. So I ran the query for 2014 and 2015 and this is the trend for unique visits for 2014 and 2015 month wise. Now I would like to show you the Hawk system. Hawk is the SQL engine on top of Hadoop. Uh, what we decided is in 554 columns in Clickstream, 140 columns are more important. So we created a Hawk internal table showing like now it is having 1.5 billion rows. Now we will run some queries on this table. So I'm running a query creating the unique visits and visitor count for uh, different countries and within the first quarter of 2015. Copy these results. And this is the distribution for top 20 countries with unique vmware.com visits and visit. Now I wanted to show you how Alpine Data Lab can be used for statistical analysis of the data. Now I have taken one data from the clickstream and I use the statistical operator summary statistics. I used a, a Spark job and I ran the job and then I got the results of visit high and visit low summary statistics. 
So at VMware IT, we have established the fact that an enterprise big data analytic platform can be successfully built and run on top of VMware virtual infrastructure with EMC Isilon and PSD 3.0. And we are very happy with the performance it is giving till now.